When you do it, you can see that there it's fluent. Absolutely. So I would say third step, good. Good. Luxury watches are not only a passion, they can also represent a safe investment. But you need to have knowledge, you need to have reliable information, and you need to know how to buy safely. The watch market evolves and changes quickly today. Discover how to collect and invest in luxury timepieces. Discover the market trend and much more. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Good morning watch collectors from all over the world. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new episode of Watch Dealers. We are in Switzerland again, we are visiting the Swiss collector and today we are going to talk about uh, how they guarantee and check the authenticity of the pieces they sell. We are going to wait for a customer bringing his watch and Christophe, the expert of the store, is going to check the authenticity and good quality of this piece. So follow me, the Swiss collector in Neon. Bonjour Christophe, ça va? Bonjour Georgia, merci pour ta visite. Notre client, il va arriver quand? Dans 5 minutes environ, je pense. Ah, fantastique. Monsieur, bonjour. Bonjour monsieur, je bienvenue chez The Swiss Collector. Merci beaucoup. J'avais téléphoné pour éventuellement vendre ma montre. Oui, tout à fait, oui. Nous allons regarder. Bonjour, enchanté, Giorgia Mondani. Je suis là pour filmer la vente de votre montre. Et euh, bon, on fait un petit vidéo sur mon YouTube channel pour montrer euh, comment euh, The Swiss Collector euh, okay. certifie la qualité de la montre. Désolé, je, je vous dérange un petit peu aujourd'hui. Il n'y a aucun problème. Merci. Okay. Pouvez-vous m'en dire un peu plus sur votre montre Alors, tout à fait. C'est une montre que j'ai achetée chez Rolex, donc je vous la montre. Hein. Donc, que j'ai acheté chez Rolex, qui est quasi neuve. Il ouais. y a les papiers. Parfait. We are gonna see and analyze a Rolex watch Oyster Perpetual. Yes. Fantastic. Est-ce que vous avez déjà une idée du prix que vous souhaiteriez vendre votre montre Alors, non, j'aurais voulu aimer euh, savoir un peu votre avis dessus et ouais. le, le prix que vous pourriez m'en Pas de problème. Offrir. Je vais commencer par vérifier votre montre et puis ensuite nous allons regarder à quel prix nous pouvons vous la racheter. Très bien. So Christophe, can you explain the steps you are going to take for uh, analyzing this watch and certifying that uh, this is a good watch? First, we will control if the watch, uh, the watch number is correct regarding to the warranty card. Okay. It's the first step. If you don't have the same number, you can be uh, suspect. It can oh. be suspect. So for that, we just come here as the watch is complete. We took the warranty card. On Rolex watch, you can just check at six o'clock, just here, if the number corresponds. Here, it's exactly the same number. Okay, so, so first this step is the first step. Was done. First step is good. <laughs> After we, we are regarding on the dial, if there is no no signs of or bad signs of counterfeit, even sometimes you can have the crown with it, which is not good made, Rolex or Oyster Perpetual. If the dial is clean, there oh, is the no problem. The descriptions on the dial, everything seems very good to me. But y you are yeah. the expert, so you will say. <laughs> here, here we can say that we don't have any problem with this watch. Okay, so second step, done. Down. Down. <laughs> okay. Third step, we can control with the crown. On uh, all Rolex watches, even the oldest, the crown is fluent. You don't, s there is no screw, there is no problem. You just heard the winding movement. You just earned it, and when you do it, you can see that there it's fluent. Absolutely. So I would say, third step, good. Good. <laughs> and even if we have any doubt, the fourth step is to open and see the movement. Of course. Okay. In this case, do you need to open the watch and see the movement? For this one, normally, 
I can buy it without opening. Okay. But I will show you how we will open Fantastic. in five. First, we open the bracelet because it's easier. And after, you just have to take this and to unscrew. You can check all the inscription, the Rolex caliber. I would say fourth step, also good, right? Yeah. <laughs> it is always fascinating to see inside a watch, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, for you it it's normal, but... Uh, no, it's not normal. It's uh, every time it's a little bit uh, hypnotic. Fantastic. So now for next step for this watch, we will see how much regarding to the second hand market we can make an offer. Okay, and hopefully the client will agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So all the steps were good. The watch is fine to be bought if they agree on the price. Let's see. For us, we are working a lot with uh, Chrono24. Okay. So I will check uh, with my phone uh, how much, what is the price for this watch okay. approximately in order to make an offer to... Okay. Um, sometimes watch collectors come to me and say, I saw on Chrono24 that this watch is worth 10,000 euros, okay? But it's not really the way they have to do, because uh, uh, watch uh, Chrono24 charges a commission to every seller, yeah. and when the seller buys a watch, they need to have a margin, and then they have to calculate the commission. So the seller cannot check the final price they see on Chrono24, otherwise... Uh, there is no margin for the for the dealer. Donc comme vous avez pu voir après tous les contrôles de votre montre, il n'y a aucun problème à vous faire une offre d'achat là-dessus. Donc j'ai pu aller regarder euh, sur le marché de seconde main à quel prix peut se vendre votre montre et nous nous pouvons vous faire pour ce modèle-là une proposition d'achat à 6000 francs suisses en cash pour vous. D'accord. So the Swiss collector just made a proposal for buying this watch for 6,000 Swiss francs. J'accepte. Pour finaliser l'achat, je vais avoir besoin de votre pièce d'identité. Nous allons rédiger une, euh, une quittance d'achat sur laquelle figurera votre pièce d'identité, la montre, le document, pour s'assurer que vous êtes bien le propriétaire et que vous avez bien reçu l'argent dont on a parlé. Très bien. Fantastic. Mission accomplished. So the Swiss collector just bought a watch from a private collector, 6,000 Swiss francs for this Oyster Perpetual. Uh, full set, in good condition. Fantastic. So our job is done. So now that I have to sign the papers and to see the ID. Uh, thank you so much for the time you dedicated to me. Uh, it was great and again thank you so much for following uh, my channel it was great to see this part of the watch dealers uh, business see you next time keep following me Giorgia Mondani bye bye from the Swiss collector in Neon <laughs>